Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says An art contains five red and five black balls. A ball is drawn at random. Its color is noted and is returned to the urn. Moreover, two additional balls of the color drawn are put in the urn and then a ball is drawn at random. What is the probability that the second ball is red? Let us first understand the theorem of total probability. Let E1, E2, so on, En be a partition of the sample space S. That is, they are pairwise disjoint, exhaustive and have non-zero probabilities. And suppose that each of the events, even E2 so on En, has non-zero probability of occurrence. Let A be any event associated with S. Then probability of A is equal to probability of E1 into probability of A upon E1 plus probability of E2 into probability of A upon E2 plus so on probability of En into probability of A upon E n. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now according to the question an urn contains 5 red and 5 black balls. A ball is drawn at random, its color is noted and is returned to the urn. Let E1 be the event that the first ball drawn is red. And E2 be the event that the first ball drawn is black. Therefore, probability of E1 is equal to 5 upon 10 and this is equal to 1 upon 2 and the probability of E2 is equal to 5 upon 10 which is again equal to 1 upon 2. Now again according to the question two additional balls of the color drawn are put in the urn and then a ball is drawn at random, we have to find the probability that the second ball is red. Let A be the event that the second ball is red. Now the conditional probability that the second ball is red given first ball drawn is also red. That is probability of A upon E1 is equal to 7 upon 12 
because two additional balls of the color drawn are put in the urn. So total red balls are now 5 plus 2 which is equal to 7. Hence the probability of A upon E1 is equal to 7 upon 12. Again conditional probability that the second ball is red given first ball drawn is black that is probability of A upon E2 and this is equal to 5 upon 12 as total red balls are still 5. Now events E1 and E2 are pairwise disjoint, exhaustive and have non-zero probabilities. So they represent a partition of the sample space S since events E1 and E2 forms a partition of the sample space S. Therefore, by theorem on Total probability we have probability of A is equal to probability of E1 into probability of A upon E1 plus probability of E2 into probability of A upon E2. Now we have probability of E1 is equal to probability of E2 which is equal to 1 upon 2 and probability of A upon E1 is 7 upon 12 and the probability of A upon E2 is 5 upon 12. So probability of A is equal to 1 upon 2 into 7 upon 12 plus 1 upon 2 into 5 upon 12 and this is equal to let us take 1 upon 2 common we have probability of A is equal to 1 upon 2 into 7 upon 12 plus 5 upon 12 and this is equal to 1 upon 2 into 12 upon 12 and this is equal to 1 upon 2. Hence the answer for this question is 1 upon 2. That is the probability that the second ball is red is 1 upon 2. So this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.